don't know if y'all can see that or not but we keep having that problem where the chickens fly up to the top I didn't put a roof on it but they like to fly down so the other day we had two chickens get out they flew up there were perching there and the girls seen them from a window inside and they flew down one of them was stayed in the yard one of them was a guinea fowl actually the other one was one of the white the, the leghorns and he actually flew over the fence into the driveway into the real world and it says in the city ordinance that we need to have them contained in a run or a coop at all times so that's a problem another problem is we got dogs living at the neighbors houses and I'm sure they wouldn't mind a good old chicken for dinner so we're gonna have to do something about that That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. You don't mess with this guy right here. Woo! Turns out, chickens can fly. I was actually anticipating putting that roof on. I figured we'd have to do it here coming up shortly because I knew they'd be able to start flying over I don't want to clip their wings so I'm just gonna put the roof on it I got these two boards going across the top here um, we got some netting here that we like to use I like the way it looks a lot better than chicken wire I think it just looks nicer and it's a lot easier to handle and that's five feet tall so I measured from this board to that board that's five foot and then from that side over there to that board right there is five foot so we'll have a little bit of overlap right there but that'll be just fine it'll work out good for our coop there we just use some pallets Got some pallets from a business that was getting rid of them, and I uh, intended to use it just as a brooder, but I didn't get anything else built, so we kind of turned it into a coop. It works good. I got to do some work to it to make it look better and perform better, and once I get older, I'll have to have nesting boxes and stuff in there, but for now, it works good and holds them in, and that's what we use. So, kids and I are gonna put the roof on this thing, put some netting over top. We'll set the camera up for you so you can watch it, put it in fast motion. Hope you enjoy. Y'all gonna help? Yeah! <laughs> All of you? Yeah! Holy moly, I just need to pull a camera out to get y'all to work some, don't I? Yeah! <laughs> Daddy, All right, let's do this.
sure is nice to have help. Got that done real quick. Check it out, y'all. No more escapees from the Chick Chick prison, right? No more, no more escapees. We are done, y'all. So this is the netting we use. Just multi-purpose netting. Nothing special. Works for what we need it for. Uh, I'm not too worried about predators, predators here or anything. We've got fence all around us and tree cover all above us and the only threat we would have is neighbor dogs but I'm not too worried about them so so far it's worked good it's held our chickens in and not too worried about anything so Kelly got me this uh, staple gun from Lowe's it's an arrow brand just a cheap one but it works good it's uh, electric we use the uh, biggest staples that it can Take, so I usually go around afterwards and tap them with a hammer make sure they're in good but that's what we use for our staples nothing special so guys I'll tell you a little bit since we were working on it what my idea was with the with the runner and the coop and everything the main idea around it is that the coop is their hotel room and the runner is their tour bus during the day so if you can see that door in there that shuts over the opening of the coop to hold them in at night and it can hold them in the runner during the day so the idea is keep them in the runner during the day pull them around the yard to get fresh fresh area fresh bugs fresh grass we don't have a whole lot of grass but just a fresh area during the day and then the tour bus or the run goes back to the coop at night back to the hotel so that's kind of the idea I had from building this right now they're staying by the coop we keep them there about a week at a time and then we rotate them so it's about time to rotate them here coming up again so we'll show you that process maybe um yeah i think that went well well it's dinner time kids start eating it's looking pretty good what are we having guys um we're having a burrito peanuts and some tea that i made yeah, yeah. a lot of them are done with the done with their burritos already they must have been hungry and tea, and tea. But, yeah, here's the tea. Yeah. You drink tea because it's good for you. Plain old good for you. It's good for your health and your digestion and overall immune support. So we, that's why we drink it. Only cold, though, not hot. Kids won't drink it hot. That's okay. Got some uh, chamomile, lavender, and peppermint mixed together. Pretty dang good, but I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to go eat. Peace out, y'all.